So anyways, man, I'm here with Tim. What's what up? <laughs> and uh, we're starting out our morning a little bit differently this morning. Yo, dude, straight up. On my way over here, I had I had an epiphany. Now we are we are those car enthusiasts that you love to watch, all right? Because we know what we're talking about. And by the way, Tim, hey, yeah, you're this individual right here is uh, driving a new Veloster N, which is from the N division inside of Hyundai. Yes. And it started with the i30 N, correct? Yes, that's and right. that started in the European market, which was. I, I'm telling you, Tim. I'm. I know you love your Veloster, but the i30N is so much sexier than your <laughs> Veloster, guys. If you haven't seen the i30N, I know that a lot of people are going to be like, "What's the i30N? I don't know what that is." Well, that's because you're not educated in the car community properly. All right, and, and, and you know, give a shout out to Car and Driver Magazine and Automobile Magazine, Motor Trend. Because guess what? I still get the hard copy and read the magazines. Yes. And yes. and Tim, Tim, look, look, check it, check me out, dude. Don't you, don't you love to read the yes. articles? Yes. And dude, people do it I'll online. People do it online, but dude, it's completely different than holding the magazine, isn't it? Yeah. It, it brings you back to when you first started your love of cars. For a lot of people, you know, you you started off reading the magazines first, and then you graduated to building model kits, and then. After that, you start building radio control cars because now you can control your model kit. And then the next step, you get your license, get that first car, you start working on it, and then you get to this level where you're driving your dream car, Veloster in. Dude, he <laughs> just he just talked about some childhood things that smart kids do. Like, dude, I didn't do any of that repairing and working on building model cars or any of that. I tried and I failed, okay? I would try, I would, I would end up breaking it, I would get pissed off. And then I would go back out and ride my dirt bike, or ride my BMX bike, you know. But it's 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 so funny that I that we say that, Tim. Uh -huh. And we, there's such a contrasting, uh, <laughs> there's such a contrasting element to how we grew up. Yeah. Like this guy is he's the techie guy, like straight <laughs> up loves the tech, loves the gear. By the way, we have GoPro Hero Sevens right now around us, okay. <laughs> and he's this kind of techie guy that. He gets the latest stuff. I don't really care. I'm filming this off my cell phone, <laughs> and I have a microphone sitting in my lap that hopefully picks up decent sound since it's sitting down. But who cares? Like that's how I am, you know. But it's so great because we're both car drivers, you know. Even though personality-wise, Tim, hey, tell these we're completely different. Completely different. Like, I sense of the, the spectrum. Like straight up. <laughs> like he he got on. All right. So anyways, 